गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन स्टडी वी आर डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द कोलेस्ट्रॉल बायोसिंथेसिस दैट इज द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कोलेस्ट्रॉल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द कोलेस्ट्रॉल मेटाबॉलिज्म नथिंग बट द डिग्रेडेशन ऑफ कोलेस्ट्रॉल वॉट आर द हाउ द कोलेस्ट्रॉल इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू द बायल एसिड्स स्टेरॉयड हारमोन्स एंड द विटामिन डी वेर द कोलेस्ट्रॉल इज नॉट कंप्लीटली डिग्रेडेड टू सी ओ टू एंड द वॉटर where it is converted into the bile acids steroid hormones and the vitamin d bile acids are having with the 27 carbon compound with steroid ring helps in a digestion and absorption of lipids synthesis takes place in a liver whereas cholesterol biosynthesis takes place in a cytosol but here the conversion of bile acid from the cholesterol is takes place in a liver seven hydroxylase is the regulating enzyme the primary bile acids are cholic acid genodeoxycholic acid and secondary bile acids are deoxycholic acid and lithocholic acid and this one is the gram diagrammatical representation of metabolism of cholesterol or degradation of cholesterol in this cholesterol is converted into 7 hydroxy cholesterol with the help of enzyme 7 alpha hydroxylase where nadph is reduced to nadp after that the 7 hydroxy cholesterol is converted into the cholic acid as well as chinodeoxy cholic acid with the help of several reaction or the several steps after that cholic acid is converted into the two compounds or two bile acids first one is the glycolic acid where the involvement of glycine and second compound is the taurocholic acid there is a involvement of taurin where the chinodeox chinodeoxycholic acid is converted into tauro or glycochinodeoxycholic acid there is a involvement of taurin or glycine after that the tauro or glycochinodeoxycholic acid is converted into lithocholic acid with the help of intestinal bacteria after that the cholic acid is converted into glycocholic acid with the involvement of glycine after that glycocholic acid is converted into deoxycholic acid with the help of same intestinal bacteria where the deoxycholic acid is a secondary bile acid and the lithocholic acid is also a secondary bile acid but where the glycocholic acid and glycochinodeoxycholic acids are the primary bile acids it is about the synthesis of bile acids this is the diagrammatic representation with structural synthesis of bile acids and then enterohepatic circulation in which bile acids are secreted into the intestine are reabsorbed and returned to the liver this is known as the enterohepatic circulation in this we discuss that the, there is a formation of chinodeoxycholic acid lithocholic acid nothing but the primary and secondary bile acids after that whatever the bile acids are found in a liver where the cholesterol is converted into chinodeoxycholic acid and that in presence of the taurin conjugation that enters into the gall bladder after that duodenum then it enters to the ileum and the bile acids are excreted through the feces in 10% and remaining 90% is in the form of portal circulation get back into the liver or absorbed into the liver that's why this process is known as enterohepatic circulation and remaining 5% is entered into the systemic circulation it is the diagrammatic representation of how bile acids are reabsorbed through the liver and then cholelithiasis bile salts and phospholipids are responsible to keep cholesterol in a bile acids in a soluble state 
deficiency of bile salts leads to the precipitation of cholesterol into crystal in a gall bladder resulting in a gall stones or cholelithiasis it is caused due to the impairment in a liver there is liver functioning is not done properly and the second one is obstruction of biliary tract and third one is the defect in enterohepatic circulation of bile salts and then the transformation of cholesterol in the steroid hormones as we discussed the degradation of cholesterol into the bile acids steroids and the last one is vitamin d the first one bile acids are completed and the second one is steroid hormones where cholesterol is converted into different types of hormones like progesterone estradiol vitamin d testosterone and the cortisol then hypercholesterolemia it is the disorder of excess amount of cholesterol present in our body serum cholesterol level is more than 200 mg per dalton it is considered as an hypercholesterolemia it is caused due to the diabetes mellitus hypothyroidism obstructive jaundice and the nephrotic syndrome where another one is the atherosclerosis in this deposition of cholesterol esters and other lipids in a internal layers of the arterial walls it leading to the hardening and closure of coronary or cerebral artery look the images in the first one there is a clot of blood clot in the arterial walls and in the second one there is a narrowing the blood vessels and the third one is blockaging of the blood vessels or arteries it is known as spasm it is the diagrammatic representation representation blockage in the right coronary artery by using this balloons stent rotational burs we can clear that clotted blood vessels by using these three methods then treatment for hypercholesterolemia first one is the consumption of pufa that is nothing but the polyunsaturated fatty acid and second one is the dietary fiber and then avoiding high carbohydrate diet and the fourth one drugs like using lovastatin atorvastatin for inhibiting the hmg coenzyme a reductase and then cholesteramine and cholestipol these are binds with the bile acid and decreases the enterohepatic circulation it means it decreases the reabsorption of the bile acids thank you